up north side. No other place can you get so high and hang out with your friends in the sky. Woo! Alright guys. Well it's Easter Sunday. We're just hanging out, you know, doing some cool shit at North Side. It's absolutely beautiful. We got Lone Peak in the background. And don't forget, subscribe if you dare. Jesus loves you, he died for you. This is his day. So he makes our lift possible, guys. He makes everything possible to those who believe. So do you believe? Do you have faith? If you have faith, as small as a mustard seed, you can fly over mountains, man. Tell you what, you just got to be able to ride that lift. You got to be able to capture it. Take some skills to do that. But I got to let you go. So stay in hope. Stay in, uh, stay in good graces, guys. Sky Pirates Films presents How Close is Too Close. A couple of mistakes I see some of the new young guys doing is that when they're learning to fly, is they like to do aerobatics and acrobatics a little bit too close to the ground. In this video, I wanted to go over a couple of key points um, about how to perform at north side, how to bench appropriately, and how to watch out for some of the hazards that I see some of these guys doing. So follow along as we take you higher and we take you lower. So um, hopefully I can walk you through as we go. Okay guys, so the first thing I notice is that, you know, don't be afraid to sink out. You cannot bench north side without at least sinking out once or twice every year, even when you're just trying to get the rust off. The second thing I wanted to warn you about is getting too close to terrain. Now, if you guys are benching north side, you want to have plenty of altitude, you want to have plenty of ground clearance. Getting close to terrain is definitely a sketchy thing, especially in thermic conditions. South side, it's a natural, it's a normal thing to do. But when you're at north side, it gets really sketchy, especially with thermals popping off. You could be in the lee of the thermal. There's a lot of turbulence back there. It can easily collapse your wing, send you straight into the rocks and sticks. At the very least, you're going to have a, a, at least an hour of trying to get your, your wing out of the weeds. At the most, you're going to get a helicopter ride and it's going to shut down the park for everybody. So not something I recommend anybody doing. Push out from the hill. If you're getting close, you're getting low, and just go land. It's a 300-foot hike. How bad is it to just hike right back up and have a good day? Everybody else can have a good day. And you don't end up in the hospital for the next three weeks to six months to the rest of your life. So stay safe, fly sober, and land soft. Okay, next thing I'm going to talk about is benching. Everybody wants to know the secret. How do you bench north side? Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you how. That was fun, but it was sketchy. Woo! Yeah, buddy. So I promised you that I'd show you the way to bench north side. The key here, guys, is to get out away from the hill. To catch the thermal, push away from the hill, and start doing slow, maintained circles inside of lift. When we we're first learning, we always learn to turn in lift. You always turn in lift, if you can help it. Make smooth weight shift, brake inputs. Don't try to force it, guys. The air is going up or it's not. If you're going down, find a new piece of, piece of the air. Be patient with it. That's the most important thing. Be patient, turn slow circles, not aggressively, clear your turns, make sure you don't have any friends that you're gonna just like turn right into. 
and be patient with it. The air will tell you what it's doing if you just listen. Next tip, getting close to terrain. Doing wing overs up in the sky close to terrain, man that's sketchy. If you took a whack when you're 20 feet off the deck and all of a sudden you have no time to correct, you're going straight into the dirt. Now if there's some snow like there is now, it's probably not going to hurt that bad. But just get out away from the hill, do your wing overs in, in tons of open sky, that way in case you do run into trouble, you got time to throw. Reserves are cool, but they only work if you have about a hundred feet of clearance for them to open up. Once I get done with my SIV, maybe I'll try some stuff like that, but for now, I'll just stay mellow with it because, you know, everything's a little bit better when you're just mellow. There's no need to be going crazy over your wing. You know, that's for people that have a death wish. I don't have a death wish. I might be crazy, but I don't have a death wish. I kind of like my life. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I'm out here to have fun and do me. That's it. So, again, cheers. Hope you enjoy the views. That was a lot of food.